so this can't be made up. Uh, I arrived. I arrived to Manila uh, like five hours ago. I didn't go a taxi. I started off by buying a SIM card for way too much and it, the data plan is shitty, it's so slow. Then I started walking into town through this or on this road from the airport and I saw a bike or a chauffeur with a joyride shirt on and I thought that, okay this is like a grab so I asked him what it would cost blah 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 hopped on then his tire blew out I had to wait for him to get his tire fixed we hopped back on the road he drove me to the hotel oh before going to the hotel we drove uh, stopped at a red light and this woman uh, not even a woman this girl came up, came up to me begging for some money she was wearing like a really traditional looking dress with some feather or whatever and it was a bit silly but yeah then I got to the hotel couldn't check in because like check in is at 3 p.m. so now I'm checked in it's 11 o'clock had to pay a little extra for early check in I'm on level 2 right now um, but the AC it's one of those that sticks out from the uh, from the window, so all the noises comes in. So I don't know how this night will be, but I haven't slept at all yet. All nighting right now, so I'm gonna sleep for a few hours. Then uh, if I have the energy, I'll explore Manila. But then tomorrow evening, I am uh, flying to Palawan. So island life finally starts again. Beaches sun actually water i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna leave everything at the hotel whatever hotel i stay at in palawan just leave everything guy know how to guide myself to the beach just swim sun bath all that without have to worry about where's my stuff so it's gonna be great but Manila surprised me. I did not know Manila had this side. At least there is, that I stay in, a lot of homeless people, a lot of sheds, a lot of unique people. Um, so many American brands and American sizes and really bad diet. Like everything looks really unhealthy. But yeah, I haven't explored anything yet. I'm dead tired, I'm gonna sleep for a few hours and uh, I'll be back. Okay, good, good noon. I tried like in every single country so far, obviously, because that's the thing that you gotta do, right? Um, but I haven't tried like actually anything else than like burgers, so like now like a, a, like a chicken fillet, I guess. <coughs> Uh, with some rice, this is not a very fair, it's a rice rat. Um, I hope I actually I'm gonna try the like dogs and the boys, so like why not? And then like some uh, yeah, what was it? <laughs> it was some uh, I guess it's not steak but like some some, some kind of meat with like mushroom. I stay in a loft, right? So this is the bed. And I've been absolutely exhausted today. Uh, yeah, it looks like a mess, but anyway. Still on three hours of sleep. I fell asleep, slept for about three or four hours. Uh, went out for a walk a bit. Went to McDonald's, tried the local food. But like, I'm so done. I'm so... I guess I'm jet lagged kind of because <laughs> I haven't like slept at all and I'm checking out tomorrow already but again I got surprised by the Philippines it wasn't as or it wasn't what I was expecting um, but again this is my first day I should not judge it so quickly but yeah so I'm hoping it will be more beachier more exotic that's what I thought it was. Obviously, Manila is like the capital, it's like a city life. So, um, hopefully, Palawan will be great. I really want to relax. I really just want to relax, lay on a beach, soak in the sun, take a dip, 
that's all I want now. That was my plan for Philippines, so I hope it will um, actually come true. So. Sure hope so, because that's what that's the point why I came to uh, Puerto Princesa in the first place. So I really need it, and I really hope that it won't let me down. So I'm just gonna like walk to my stay. Like I haven't even I got a confirmation from Agoda, but I haven't got a confirmation from the host of the stay yet. So I'm a little bit sketched out, but it should be fine. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna walk there. Like fuck it. It's uh, 9 p.m. So we'll see, island life, hopefully no dogs, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, I just arrived. Uh, okay, so I, ju I just arrived to uh, Puerto Princesa and like, I walked halfway, uh, I walked through the jungle, I walked like through dogs and neighborhoods and everything. And then like, I came across three dogs and they were like just barking and like they were in the middle of the road. So I was like, okay, no way. Uh, so then uh, so then like I basically like oh sorry sorry knocked on a neighbor neighborhood's door GB fixed me up on his bike he was so kind so he drove in basically half the way here to uh, to uh, Sheena's homestay <laughs> and uh, there I'm gonna stay here for so yeah I'm gonna stay here three nights but yeah GB like was uh, heaven sent uh, so good I, I was I was afraid I'm gonna be like Biden by the dog or something, but he, he rescued me. So good, thank you so much. I feel like it was pitch dark, just like woods surrounding me, and it was like really sketchy. But I'm here now. Uh, oh, I'm so happy that I found like GB. Oh my god, oh, so thankful. <laughs> um, but it was sketchy. Like, I walked through the I guess the, the downtown, so I just walked on the road, and then like. Dogs at every almost every home barking, but I was like, okay, no, no eye contact. That I should be fine. But then, like, I entered the uh, the woods, pitch dark, no lights, no nothing, no houses, just woods and the road. <laughs> I just started walking. I saw one dog, two dog, no barking. Then two started barking, and I got into like a I wouldn't say like a dead end, but almost. And then like the dogs were in the middle of the road. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna like face them. So I walked back and just like, you know, basically was like, hey, sorry, I'm trying to find like Sheena's homestay. And uh, yeah, oh my God, I'm so happy that he helped me. So, okay, the first experience of Filipino people, <laughs> so good. Oh my God. Uh, he even subscribed to this YouTube channel. So you, you're probably gonna see this video, Jibi. Thank you so much, I'm sweaty, I'm nasty, but I shook your hand, it was so fun. Or fun, you basically like saved my night. Uh, wow. But yeah, I'm here. Uh, I'm just gonna relax now for three days. Um, I'm gonna do some tours, yes. Um, but for the most part, just chill. Uh, she even has a pool here, so I'm just gonna lay in the pool, soak in the sun. All oh, that. Jesus. Maybe I should say afternoon. Uh, I took one of those like 
tricycles here to the mall, Robinson's Mall, which is about one and a half kilometers from my stay. Right now I'm at Jollibee's, which is the uh, staple of the Philippines. So I'm excited to be like, like finally trying it out. And uh, I had like a taste in, uh, in Vietnam. No, yeah, yeah, in Vietnam, but it was like, I don't know, it was delivery, it was all that, so now I'm, I'm like getting it fresh and also like I ask for recommendations. So I should receive like the best that uh, Jellyby has like to offer, I guess. So uh, I'm excited. I'm hungry. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. And speaking of, I just received it. So now we'll have a taste. So what I think I recommended was like a chicken burger. Um, it's really good. The cheese is really good. And also got like an iced tea to like kind of cut down the greasiness. Um, and also like a sundae as dessert. And it's really good. Actually like the chicken is like, you know, moist, crispy. And delicious. It's good. It's a good meal. I've been stressing for about an hour about my flights. Good afternoon. I uh, just been chilling at the pool all day, and I uh, got offered uh, cassava and uh, some coffee, and I'm here at. Uh... <laughs> and I'm actually going on a tour this night in like 20 minutes or something. Um, and I haven't eaten anything all day, so I got offered some cassava and some coffee, and. Um, yeah, I'm having a good time. Today I've been just ch chilling at the pool yesterday. I uh, went to the mall, uh, spent my day there, found a new shirt, found some candy. Um, but yeah, I also rode a tricycle for the first time on this trip, so it was fun. But I'll go watch some fireflies, like that's the tour that I'm going on tonight. So I'll try to film something, but I think it's gonna be really dark, so it might not look as appealing as I see it with my own eyes, but um, we shall see. But yeah, and also a lot of planning. Like I've been buying wrong flights. I've been really indecisive on what areas I wanna visit. Like, uh, it's all a mess, but I'll try to do my best to kind of bring it all together. Um, but yeah, now I'm just gonna eat, drink my coffee, and then I'll go on this firefly tour. What is, what, are they showing eggs being cracked? Oh yeah, that makes sense actually, yeah. These eggs are cracked. Mom, why did you... So I guess the tour starts off with a buffet. Uh, I thought that we were gonna have some at the end of the tour, but it's actually in the beginning, which is quite nice because I haven't like literally eaten anything today, so uh, it's gonna be nice. Okay, toilet. Okay. Thank 
Okay. Uh, uh, I think you're safe. I think uh, stop here. You need 